organization, as Scott mentioned, is the parent organization for Ceasefire. Ceasefire is the Illinois and Chicago program. We have programs in 23 cities in, uh, in the United States, but 50 sites, and they all have their own name. They all, so there's not, they're not all known by Cure Violence, but they all implement the Cure Violence approach, right? And that approach was founded by Dr. Gary Slepkin, who's an epidemiologist. He used to work for the World Health Organization, interrupting and stopping the spread of diseases and designing those interventions. When he came back to his hometown of Chicago in 1995, he saw what was happening on the streets of Chicago. And he, to him, as an epidemiologist looking at the data, it looked and acted a lot like a contagious process. So he spent five years studying what was happening and figuring out what would an intervention look like that's a health approach. And he designed what became the model. And that includes three elements, detect and interrupt, change the behavior at the highest risk, and change the norms in the community. The communities aren't full of violent individuals. It's a small group, maybe 30 to 40 individuals that are violent or at the highest risk. And instead of staying away from them, ceasefire goes to these individuals, teaches them pro-social conflict resolution skills to change their behavior, to change the norms in the community. I've been out of prison for six years. I came to ceasefire. I got a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and now I'm getting a PhD in a research one institution. Ceasefire played a key role in that. Because it, it gave me an illumination and a per, different perspective on life. And now I'm looking at theoretical concepts and perspectives of how to save lives instead of looking from a destructive mentality. And that's the same thing we teach the interrupters and the interrupters taken to the neighborhood. The spike in violence in Chicago happened simultaneously with the shutdown of 19 ceasefire sites. It's no coincidence. Now when you take us out the picture, 19 times what? 30. That's 570 individuals that are the most violent in the city now have no one in their life to be that cushion or that mentor that when they get into a trouble spot, they have no one to call to help them resolve their conflict. So quite naturally, the violence is going to what? Surge. These individuals go in and out the community. It's just the norms are different. So it can affect you. That's why violence is all of our problems.